Hi, my name is Megan Kerr, and I currently serve on the Board of Education for the Long Beach Unified School District. I was born and raised in this newly drawn fifth district. I was, went to school here, I met my husband here, we raised our three children here, I cared for my elderly Nana and my father with a disability here. I've spent my life volunteering in my community to make it a better place. After 10 years of volunteering behind the scenes in schools and across the district, I ran for and was elected to the Board of Education for the Long Beach Unified School District, which is the fourth largest school district in the state, the largest employer in our city, and the largest landholder. So for the last eight years, I've worked hard to support our students, to bring educational resources to income-restricted neighborhoods, to lift up students with disabilities, and to support students across four cities. I've put my whole heart into this work the last eight years, and I think it's prepared me to be the next city council member for CD5. I'm running for city council to support and bring together our communities, to address issues such as homelessness and housing, to support our businesses, to address our infrastructure needs, and to ensure that everyone can live in a safe and supportive community. I've earned a reputation as a leader who is collaborative and transparent, who works with others to solve tough problems. And I put my whole heart into the work, and I've served with integrity. I want to be the next city council member for CD5 because CD5 is a special place. It includes Space Beach and the Rancho, incredible parks, strong small business corridors, as well as some of the most engaged neighborhoods and residents in the district. I hope I can count on your support and your vote on June 7th for District 5. Thank you. One of the things I love most about our Long Beach community is its rich diversity, and we have to work hard to ensure that everyone who wants to live here can live here. So it means connecting people with existing resources that will help them with food insecurity, that will help pay electric and water bills so that they don't lose their housing. But we also need to continue to build more housing that's affordable, especially for those who are at risk of homelessness, including veterans, LGBTQ members, and those experience mental health issues.